Hey guys, this is Amira. This is FTB Still Block 3. Hope you're all having a great day. Let's go ahead and jump back into this pretty cool back. And, uh, I myself, I am having a fantastic day. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, push forward here, right? So if you're doing episodes, did not do too much. Did a little bit of uh, working around the base here. So I went ahead and uh, turned off this setup here. It's completely turned off now. I was, was doing like a uh, non-sped up version of it, but uh, it is completely off. So I don't have to worry about that lag anymore. This one here, the Nitro setup, is actually converted over. Do nothing but your night now. Our urinite is actually getting up really quick too. So you get to um, urinite. No, it's U R A N, right? There you go. We actually have 408,000. Once we get about 420 ish, I can actually start making the singularities for this one as well. So I'll be able to do that. And that'll be one more singularity just kind of take care of as soon as, uh, you know, it produces and all that jazz. Also, went ahead and uh, hooked up our singularities, uh, the storage drawer down there, two for fine storage. So we can actually see them all too. So a lot of them are finished. So these, all these 2Ks are done. Train tracks done. Flux blocks is done. Uh, wall singularity. I think I only need like 1650. So that one's done, I think. And these ones are kind of still going along, right? The balloon singularity is going so slow. We may have to do a more robust setup for that at some point. Still need to deal with the paladin brushes. I'm going to end up well, with a bunch of those doing that. And why is this one going so slow? I need to go look at that one. That one should not be so slow. We'll look at that in a second here. I have this turned off right now. This goes a video and that one's off. Like most of our stuff is turned off right now. We don't have much going on the base. I even have the, the Man of Steel one turned off. We have 500 of those singularities right now, but I just turned it off for the video. So I guess I'll be turning that one back on, but this one will be turned off soon. That one's off now, that's off, that's off. You know what I mean? Just most of their stuff is turned off now, which is fantastic because that makes it so I'm just not quite as laggy, right? So pretty cool there and uh, pretty awesome. I did do a little more exploring too. I guess I went to, I guess down here, I did two more of the silverfish areas, try to get me more of the um, the runes for uh, blood magic. And I got a good amount of them too. So that is actually pretty awesome. When I was exploring those areas too, I was finding these two, these luminizers, and I've never used them before. They're like a elevator, actually. They're like a short range teleport. It's like 20 blocks, I think max per like luminizer, right? So if I right click on this, it actually takes me straight through the wall. There you go, just a luminizer. I was just testing them out here. They're just a little weird, right? And uh, yeah, they're pretty neat, they're pretty neat. And you just go like stuff like, oh, not that there. Go, you just go ahead and shift right click on them. Then I go ahead and right click on this one. And now this is gonna make me go back and forth through the wall. <laughs> so they can only really link up to one thing. That's kind of the problem with them. But uh, it's still pretty cool either way. I see if I can use it as like an elevator to go up to our higher level here and I'm going to. But basically, I just right-click on this one right now. Takes me all the way up through all the different luminizers. There we are. We're in the room where I'm going to uh, be doing our blood magic. I just thought they were neat. I've never used them before. They are kind of expensive, I guess. And uh, I guess normal packs, right? Normal packs, uh, you wouldn't want to be doing this stuff. It'd be a lot of stuff, actually. And actually, I don't even think we could produce the enter air bottles in this pack. Now I think of it. Although you can find the red strings, I think, in the dungeons as well. So not too bad in that regards. But anyway, that was uh, that's something I looked at there. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and jump into Blood Magic, so it'll be definitely a thing there. And I don't think I did anything else. I'm just kind of looking around real quick, making sure there was nothing else. But I think that was pretty much it. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do some Blood Magic here. Before I forget here, let's go ahead and uh, speed this one up here. I did not have acceleration on this one here, and that's why it was going super slow. So yeah, I was wondering why it wasn't working there. But uh, accelerated, these go way faster, right? So unaccelerated, it's like that kind of little putt-putt speed. But accelerated... It's like that, right? So super, super fast, much, much quicker, and uh, much better all around. So really, really good, and uh, that handles that. So that's cool, right? This one here is fine. This one is still going super slow. These these ones, the Palin brushes, man, they drive me insane. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do some blood magic here. So let's go ahead and uh, get into some blood magic here, right? So I went ahead and made the book, and I made the blood altar, right? So the book is easy, and the altar is easy. They're really easy recipes. You also need, uh, what is there, the sacrificial knife. So I have one of those as well. You actually can get these from legendary loot crates. Don't ask me why they're the legendaries, but yeah, just a really easy recipe there. Go ahead and throw this up here. Reason this is on a five tall pillar is because in time it'll be a big altar. We'll have tier five and come all the way down to the bottom here. But the first thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, start just uh, holding the dagger and right clicking. It's going to make me take damage, but it's going to fill up this altar with uh, blood in it, right? So it has life essence fluid, which is uh, kind of what we want going there. Since we have, uh, I guess, the helmet, the chest plate, and this here, the lifestone, we get our saturation and our life back pretty quickly, so we don't really have to wait very long for that, which is nice. You can't kill yourself with this too, so be careful. First thing I want to do though is go ahead and take an iron sword and throw that in there. And with that, uh, we're going to be going to a different setup really quickly, actually. We're going to use that to get the uh, dagger of sacrifice. 
and dealt with that, we can actually just straight up sacrifice Bob's instead, not have to stab ourselves. I want to go to the Blood Altar, though. We're actually going to go ahead and build up to the Tier 3 Blood Altar pretty quickly. So that's Tier 2. This is Tier 3 here. I should be able to right-click on that. No, no. Let's go ahead and uh, set that to Visualization. And hopefully right-click the right block right there. And that's going to show us what we need to build there. So that is cool. I'm actually surprised that sword isn't done yet. Is it done? What's wrong? Oh, maybe you need a Tier 2 Altar to do that. I think you need Tier altar, <laughs> tier 2 Altar to actually do that. But anyway, good to uh, grab the... Uh, Runes of Sacrifice. Once I get this rig around here, this will actually make it a Tier 2 Altar. So that's a Tier 2 there. Yeah, now it's doing the craft there. Okay, so I jumped the gun there. Good, uh, grab these here. Need to build the lower level anyway. While that's crafting, we kind of get this done, right? Go ahead and uh, use a lot of these uh, Runes of Sacrifice too, because I have a good amount of them. I'll make it so when I kill mobs, I get more LP, basically. That's what we have going on. I guess I'll need that in the corner here. I want to go ahead and switch over to speeds, I guess, here too as well. So we'll do... A row of speeds. The speeds will make it so the crafts that are done inside the altar are done. I think it's 20% extra additive uh, per cut of block. So I think that's how that works there. Don't know if there's a max, but that's kind of how it works out. I see that our dagger's done, which is great. Go ahead and uh, get these kind of all set up here. Should take but a second, and we should be pretty much done, right? So I need that. Then we bring this up. Also, in these got corners too. I don't think it matters what you use. Like it shows bricks, like in the preview. But honestly, I don't think it cares what block's there, as long as there is a block there, basically. So I guess that's the thing. We're just going to use uh, glowstone on the caps, too. Use shroom lights and sea lanterns, a couple other things, but this should be working there. There we go. Got a tier th 3 altar, and we got ourselves the dagger, right? So this one's going to make it so we can actually kill mobs, right? And actually get LP. And what we need here is do a little miniature mob farm. We're going to uh, not do that. That was pointless. One, two, three, four, five. That's what I think I measured this out yet at, I guess, in my test world. And put dreadful dirt here. And this is going to be a very fast way to kind of get mobs into this thing too. So I have a kind of pre-planned kind of setup here. So I'll bring that across. And then I guess we need to break you. There you go. Go ahead and do that. And then we should be able to wand up the rest, right? So bring that around. Bring that around. I think the only reason I put out five was to make sure it didn't uh, get the, the light from the edge there. Because we'll have a slab on the end there. Where we have to be able to hit the mobs with the dagger. And then I guess I have a wand here. So let's go ahead and actually wand this up to the top. Because I guess we'll have Enderman and stuff as well. Do that there. And the other reason we really need the slab, I guess, as well, is so I guess uh, creepers don't blow up, blow up on us for one. And the baby uh, zombies as well, right? Anyway, that should be pretty much our mob berm. Uh, I want to go ahead and uh, kill you for a second, though. I have some really good vector plates, too. I have vector plates here. These are the ultras. You can only get these ones from the Wandering Traders. It's actually the only way. You can't craft these ones. So these ones are just uh, really fast. And I really only want them fast because we're going to be using a pedestal with a watch on it to kind of speed this up as well. And uh, the watch slows down the initial kind of mobs as they move out of range of it, right? But these guys should, uh, these uh, vector plates should push them out of that range really quickly. Anyway, let's go ahead and do something like that there. We had to grab our watch here. You see how fast he just flew there, which is kind of the idea. Once I accelerate that, there you go. Just push this entire wave of mobs kind of forward. Now, one thing to be careful with when you're setting this up is that this dreadful dirt isn't too far away um, from the mobs, right? So if I push those mobs a few more blocks ahead, it'd probably only be like another two. It would just keep sending wave after wave after wave because the dreadful dirt only keeps track of mobs within a certain range, right? And once I get out of that range, it goes, hey, I can spawn in mobs again. Hey, I can spawn in mobs again. And you can end up flooding your world very quickly with insane amounts of mobs. So be careful at uh, how far you move your mobs from the dirt, right? So I have them at three, four, five, and that's safe. So that is actually definitely a thing. And it dealt with the light as well. But now that we have this, we can actually farm LP really easy. And we actually get a lot of this too. So that is actually kind of nice. Uh, what do we want to do next? Probably we need to go ahead and make slates here. So I should explain what I'm rushing for too. I want to get to a ritual called the Well Suffering so we can automate LP without having to do this stuff, right? So I don't want to have to stab myself. I don't want to have to kill mobs. I don't want to do this stuff, right? I want to get straight to the Well of Suffering, but there is a little work to it. Uh, I need to go ahead and grab... What do we need here? I need this trash can first off because we're going to have drops all over the place. Go ahead and uh, let's throw it like... Throw it right here for now. Do that i'm not even gonna filter this right now so that should handle that then we need to have to i guess uh handle the actual i guess auto crafting of items as well go ahead and grab some chest here go ahead and grab some alchemicals there you go we're gonna filter this a little weird too so i guess that's a thing 
So I'm going to be using two different things for it. So I'm going to be using an item pipe on one side. So this will be doing this side here. And this one will just have a ultimate filter on it. Just like that. And I'll be using this to filter items in here, right? So if we go ahead and grab something like uh, one thing we'll be filtering right off the stop will be stone, right? Because right now, if I want to make a slate, so the way you usually make slates, right? So if I take this here and put a slate there, or sorry, stone in there, that would usually turn into a slate. But since I'm extracting, it's not smart about its output, so it just puts it into the chest, right? So we don't want that. So I want to go to here and set a black list, set the stone. Then when I put that in there, I'll actually let it get filled with the LP, and then it gets turned into a slate. So that's going to be how we do our slates here, right? Now, another issue with this is when I right-click one on, it only puts one in, right? But if I go ahead and do this here and then set the input, it doesn't matter what kind of, I guess, piping I use. But if I say I do four, it's only it's going to put all four on there at the same time. And it has to get 4,000 LP instead of just the 1,000 to make the slate, right? To be able to finish craft. So it's actually kind of slower, where a lot of time you just want one at a time to kind of get it, right? And a lot of time you won't have the LP either way, right? So we need to kind of deal with that. We need to regulate that, basically. And this has a regulate mode. So we'll go to enable on that. Now, setting the filter on these item transporters are really weird, too. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and accelerate these really quick, because why not? Go ahead and do that, that, that. But uh, the set the filter on these are really weird. So I want this on whitelist first off. But if I want to set the filter on this, right? And say I have nothing in my hand. I can't put anything at the filter. And everyone gets confused by these filters because it doesn't really make sense. The way it actually works is you have to have the item in your hand. So right now it's the item in my hand, right? Then I grab stone from somewhere else in my inventory and just put it there. And let me filter it there. It's really weird. I don't ask me why it works like that. But that is the way these filters work. Same as if you want to remove something from the filter, right? I can't, I can't pull this out right now. I can't do anything. I can't, I can't, there's no button that's going to help me. But if I have an empty hand, I can pull it right out. Don't ask me why it works like this. It's just the way it is. Let's go ahead and do that. But now when I put the stone in here, it's only going to let one be in here at any time. And I could tweak that too. I could actually scroll that up or down. I mean, set it to different numbers. But right now, I'm just going to leave it at that number. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and uh, hammer out maybe like two stacks of slates. Then we'll kind of push forward because uh, we actually need to do a ritual next and go to another dimension. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and grab a pedestal. There we go, because I could probably speed this up a little more. Go ahead and grab um, a watch, right? Speed, because I think we can accelerate these rituals, right? So if I do that and do this here, and I do that, there we go. Can I actually keep up with this? If I just spam this, can I actually do the crafts? Because if it runs out of blood, it actually kind of wastes blood. But if we actually have enough of the runes, we might be able to do this. So I already got 43. Oh, that is, is that actually working? I think it is. But the, that's only because we have enough runes here. Yeah, it's actually working just fine. So that's not too bad. I'll be able to do another stack here really quick. Also, I have something wrong with that trash can. Uh, what is it doing? Why, is it actually picking up the items? Oh, it is. I guess, I, I guess it's fine. Nice. Okay. So I didn't realize, but I actually needed the imbued slate. So the imbued slate is the one I needed, not the actual first tier. These are the second tier slates, right? So I'm actually doing those right now. Each one of these actually takes 5,000 LP, and I need 40 of them. So I'm kind of doing the same thing we're doing before. Actually, why did I put so many in there, actually? I have no idea. I did not mean to put that many. So well, anyway, go ahead and pull those out here. So I did the same thing before with the filter. So just the blank slate here. And then on this side, I had to leave it here too. So it actually only pulls the items when it is powered. So it's uh, on when powered. So that's kind of cool there. These ones are way, way slower though. And I can't really accelerate these ones and spam them like I did the first ones, right? I was actually able to make a stack of normal slates within like, I don't know, like 20 seconds or so. So I did like four stacks. But uh, these ones are way, way slower. And if I actually accelerate these ones, when the blood runs out, right? And if you don't have enough blood there to sustain the craft that you're doing, um, it ends up draining all the blood out of that craft that was used. So even if I use, like these ones use five buckets, I used 4.9 buckets on that craft that didn't run out. It would drain all the, uh, I guess the 4.9 buckets that were inside the craft and you're basically starting over, right? So I don't want to accelerate these ones because we can't get blood fast enough. But we already got 40 of them, which is not too bad. I also went ahead and made this a ritual divider. So I had to go ahead and put a gas here in here, then a magma cream, then obsidian and a lapis. So I got that done. And then there was another thing I did. Oh yeah, the weak activation crystal. So this one here is just a lava crystal. So that there. Also, I made the orb too. I didn't really show that. I should have showed that. I guess I'll show another one. <laughs> I'll go ahead and show that in a second. But the um, the orbs are really easy to make. But I need to make one more anyway for a quest. So might as well go ahead and do that. But I just jumped straight to the tier three one. 
I have the tier one one. Uh, it's used in a lot of crafting as well as used in some of the machine crafting as well. So it's a thing you use quite a bit in this. Uh, we go to here, the orb, and check that out real quick. Yeah, this one right here, the uh, Magician's Blood Orb. Then I have this one over here that I got, uh, I think, from a quest reward, a weak blood orb. And then there's a second tier one. There's actually five tiers, I think, right? So the blood magic. Yeah, this one here. So the apprentice. So you just put different things in, feed it a bunch, uh, a bunch of LP. This thing is effectively like a, it sets up the blood network for the mod, right? So the blood network is like, think of it like the EMC that's up in the top left there. So it's like a number of LP that's in the network, technically inside the orb, that is used to power rituals, basically. So a lot of the rituals have like an upkeep, and that's actually pulled from your network, right? So if it runs out, the rituals turn off, and then you usually get some negative effects as well. So that's what they need to deal with. But basically what I'm saying is I need 40 of these slates, and then I need to make a master ritual stone, and a ritual stone, then we're gonna go to another dimension here, probably just for a couple seconds, come back and uh, get to the tier four altar. But I think I may have just found a dupe bug, so I'm not sure exactly how it works. I've been trying to figure it out here. You know, right here I have, let's see here, let's, let, oh. Yeah, see, like notice that stack is totally wrong. It doesn't make any sense at all. Let's go ahead and uh, fill this up one more time. There you go, and do the thing. Then I accelerated it. And there we go. Don't ask me what it's doing or why it's doing it. But it makes no sense, and we are duping. I'm straight up just duping uh, regular slates here. That is so weird. I don't know how I'm managing that. It's doing the thing. I want to see it do it one more time. Let's see. Do that. And we're at 64. It didn't do it that time. Maybe more? <laughs> I have no idea how this is working. But every once in a while, I check it, and then there's like 101 stack. It doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe this time? There you go, 114. Yeah, not sure what the weird interaction is there, but definitely, definitely do. Because I kept checking it going, how did I put all my slates back in there, right? Because I, I was like, oh, I only needed like 40. And yeah, it just totally messed me up. I said, I'm like, why do I keep putting my slates back in? Like, what is wrong with me? What am I doing with my life? But no, they were just straight up duping. So I have, how many slates do I have now? I have a lot of slates. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. I will do the slates kind of legitimate, but I'm keeping these blank ones. They're mine, man. Anyway, that's pretty cool and uh, pretty rad all around. So I'm done duping slates for now, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves an alchemy table. I'm going to go ahead and make a divination sigil. Uh, with that, we'll be able to actually see how much LP is in our network, because, well, we our next ritual that we have to here, I guess the ritual we need to do, is going to take uh, 8,000, I think? Yeah, no, 80,000. Sorry, 80,000. Uh, we need to get some LP into our network, so let's go ahead and grab this here, pop that there. I need to go ahead and turn off that lever, kind of forget was the whole point of being able to hold things here that don't have to have a filter on them. One-off items, I guess, like everything I did for the actual diviner, right? So this was like one-off, so just leave the lever kind of off, and then I don't have to filter it, right? So it's kind of the idea. Also, these orbs, too. You notice this one says current or owner system collapse. When you first get them, you need to right-click them to actually bind them to you as well. So that's kind of important. But anyway, go ahead and uh, pop that in there. And that should start crafting this item here, Arcane Ashes. Then we need to, guess, grab a, I think it's a redstone and a blank slate. Let's go ahead and uh, hunt one of them down. Here we go. All our ill-gotten goods. And then we need to do a little crafting here, right? So this crafting here is a little weird. It's actually a cool mechanic. It's one of the coolest mechanics uh, that I've seen, actually, in a lot of mods. So you just go ahead and uh, use the redstone on it. Then after you've done that, you grab your slate, right-click that on there. And then it does a little dance for you. does a little spinning. And then we should get our blank slate. I did uh, adjust our actual collector there so it wouldn't void it off too, so that is the thing. There you go. And if I right click with that thing, we now see that we have 11,000 LP in our network, which is good information, right? So if we go in here now, look at our rituals. The ritual we're trying to make right now is a ritual diviner. No, it's back here, right? List of rituals. There you go. It is this one here right here, Edge of the Hidden Realm. So this one here is going to be where we kind of get, we get this fruit. I forget what it's called, the Tau fruit. That's what it is. Then we turn that into the weak blood crystals. But we need to build this structure here, and we need 80,000 LP. So the LP is the easy part, actually. We just spam that really quick in there with the uh, blood orb, right? So we'll do that in a bit. Actually, do we have any blood in there? I might as well start that process. Let's go ahead and uh, take that, pop that there. Grab right, ourselves a dagger here. Go ahead and uh, let it uh, start filling up there. Sweet. Then down here, I dug out a room. We need to go ahead and uh, craft up our item here. What was it called here? The actual ritual stones, right? So we need 40 of these, I think. So let's go ahead and grab you. Oh, I need the orb too. I totally forgot. This is totally pointless. Go ahead and uh, grab this. There you go. 
grab our orb. It's used in the recipes, but it isn't used up, right? So we need uh, 40 of them. So that is good. I guess we need to go ahead and actually make the master as well. So I shouldn't put it back yet. Go ahead and uh, grab that there. That should be everything we need there. And that should be everything we need for the ritual, except for, well, we're gonna need uh, more blood in our network, right? So let's uh, get this filled up again. There you go. Head over here and we can set up the actual ritual itself, right? So we'll go ahead and uh, grab the master, put it down like that. The virtual stones does need to be in our inventory. Then we grab this item, the diviner, right? And you shift or right click with it. And you can switch between the different rituals. And we're looking for the one that says Hidden Realm, right? That one. Then when you highlight the actual stone there, you see it kind of shows it. And then you just right click. And as long as you have the blocks in your inventory, it'll automatically place them for you and dye them as well. So I think that's actually it right there. I think that's good, right? So what we need now, I guess, is just enough blood. And uh, I guess we just need another 40,000. And then we're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, spam this out real quick. We now have a 100,000 LP network. We should be able to take this weak activation crystal now and just right click this on here, right? So if I right click that, you'll see we've got 100K. And I just right click on that. If I just right click on that, there you go. I guess I had to try a second time. It'll actually go ahead and actually form the actual kind of portal here for us. And this is the portal. Now, it doesn't really look like a portal, but uh, you just right-click on this block here. So, block blood magic dot inversion pillar. Very nice name for a portal. Now, it'll just load up the terrain here. And we'll be in this kind of structure here, kind of in the middle of nowhere. So, you kind of look at your map here, just like in a random room. In this chest, you'll sometimes get keys. We got two, which is awesome. You can't craft these, but I was hoping I wasn't going to have to, right? Because uh, you have to get into the actual... What is this stuff called there? I forgot what it's called there. Will. You have to get into the will. I didn't want to have to get into it yet. But uh, basically with these keys, we can go ahead and open up two doors. And as long as we actually get the thing we need, which is the Tau group, we should be okay. So I think there's a spawner in here somewhere. Yeah, there's definitely one down there. Let's go ahead and uh, deal with these guys, I guess. Let's do that. There you go. Let's see if we can get rid of that spawner real quick. And see if we got any of the actual fruit in this area. Hopefully we did, because if so, uh, happy days. Let's go ahead and do that. And these are what we need here. So we've got the Tau fruit. Sometimes you actually get the other version we need too, which is the saturated tau, but we did not get that at this point. We can make that stuff anyway, so it doesn't really matter if we don't get it. Uh, we've got another spawner here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. We've got more tau, so that is fantastic. And some will too. That's actually really good because it means we can go ahead and make the sentient sword as well, which is amazing. And anything in this building here? Let's go ahead and uh, check this one out. Just more tau, soul speed. Might as well take the mending actually. That's a good there. And uh, that's pretty much it for that room. Oh, what else is in here? Anything that was good? Mana bottle. No, nothing very good. It's totally random what rooms you get to. Sometimes you get the same rooms over and over. What's in this one? Also, I have my night vision on. It's usually not that bright. So I remember this room being not very good, actually. Probably won't get much out of this one. Doesn't really matter. We already got our towel. Like I said, we can grow the rest. It is a little weird mechanic to actually grow the towel. But uh, yeah, I think we're good. There's a spawner in here somewhere. Where's it at? Totally forget where it's at. They're not spawning in very much either, are they? Maybe they're in that stuff? Nope. Oh. Whoa. Well, it's a good thing I had flight. <laughs> anyway, there it is right there. Go ahead and break that. So to get this town is actually a really easy process. I'm just going to do a little kind of prop land kind of like this, right? So that should work out. I'm going to throw down a pedestal here as well. And we may go ahead and make a goddess band here. I didn't even see these apparently, so I guess I have to make one. So let's grab you. And I should have everything for that. That'll be just to help us grow the crops here. Then we take the tau fruit. And then we put that down kind of like this. And this stuff's a little weird too. So way it kind of grows, right? Right now it's just going to grow as tau fruit. But as it grows and every time it gets a growth tick, it will uh, kind of like hurt you. And after it does that amount of times, it'll turn to saturated tau. At which point you can just plant the uh, saturated tau seeds and kind of do it that way. Let's go ahead and uh, turn that on. Actually take some damage here. Also, I have one of these here, too, the Sigil of the Green Grove. I found one of these or got it as a reward. But you see those ones there are already saturated tau. So those went good. I don't know if you have to stand on the right ones or not. <laughs> but uh, hopefully they all switch over to the right thing. And we got tau fruit there. That's good. There's a saturated tau. Let's see if we actually get what we need. There's a saturated there, actually. We can plant them. Might as well go ahead and uh, get us a whole bunch of these, too. But this Sigil of the Green Grove, you just shift right click of it if you found one. Isn't hard to make it either, actually. Just that there. And, uh, yeah, it just makes crop grow quicker as well. So I'm kind of doubling up here. Get some more of the saturated. There you go. I want to go ahead and uh, fill out our crop lands here. This goddess band automatically breaks things, too. Which actually isn't good for the saturated. Now I think of it, I should probably just let it grow like this. 
because I think the saturated when you break it you get a regular one back and isn't a good way of doing it so that's saturated that's saturated saturated looks like we got it all saturated now so that's actually fantastic and I guess I only need I think eight of these then we got to go ahead and grab one of these sanguine reverters and then the hellfire forge and then we have to get into I guess the will as well I didn't even see that how much will do we need 350 and only drain 30 so I guess we have to do will next but yeah, that is uh, that is how you do the uh, Tau. It's actually super easy. Pretty easy with this too, actually. The Sigil of the Green Grove. That helped with the initial part, but I can't leave that on either. Or it just breaks the crops. And I think, it, like I said, if I break the crop, it turns it back into regular Tau. So that isn't really what we want. We want to leave them planted as the saturated. So either way, that is our Tau. Super easy, right? So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and actually get Will. I'm just going to show you how you would normally do it. So basically you put String into the Blood Altar. It turns that into a snare for every 500 LP, right? So that makes four of those. Then you take those and you throw them at mobs. And every once in a while when you do that, you'll get like little white particles. I can actually see that one has one right there. And if they have white particles and you kill them, right? So if we actually... Oh, I need to filter this first. Let's go ahead to uh, ignore MBT and put that in there. There you go. If you kill them when they have the particles, right? I'll actually throw a couple more. Then probably just do this here. There you go. I can actually see some of it in there, right? Can I actually pick that up? There you go. That is how you would normally get it, right? That is the normal way of getting it. Of course, we already had a little bit, so I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, I'll have to have a way to catch that too, I guess. Maybe set up another trash can, because uh, we will be getting more of that too. Either way, it doesn't matter right now. Uh, yeah, that's how you would normally get the well, right? So that's going to be how you do that. Then once you do that, one of the first things you probably want to do is go ahead and make a sentient sword and a petty tartaric gem, right? So do the uh, Petty. I think that's in the Hellfire Forge, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab a Hellfire. One of these puppies. There you go. Then you go ahead and just pop that down right there for now. Then we need to go ahead and do some recipes here. So I have enough to do three of these. Then I think you just take the Will, right? I think they have to have at least one Will in them. So I think this one would work right here. Then toss this stuff in there. And it's going to start making one of those Tartaric Gems. And like I said, I'm going to make three of them. Because why not? There's one. May have to use another gem here, but uh, there is that one. Then we'll go ahead and grab another, and I'll need a better one for that. Oh, we have four in this one, too. There you go. I think you can bind these up by throwing them together on the ground, too. I think that's the way it works. If I did this and this, let's see here. If you do that and that, that combine up. Yes, this one's up to 3.6. I could probably combine those two, right? Oh, and then they put it inside the Petty Tartaric, where is where we actually want it in the end anyway. So that's good there. Once we have that, we want to make a Sentient Sword. So let's go ahead and grab that. With this, we'll be able to uh, farm mobs just with the sword and not have these snares, right? So that, and then put that in there. Then what else do we need there? Is this the gem? I don't think you need anything at it, do you? Maybe you do. Let's see. Maybe, oh, I'm in the wrong table. That's what I'm doing wrong. That goes there. This and that. Oh, maybe here. There you go. That's actually going to make our sentient sword here. This sword's a little weird too. The more uh, will you have in these petty tartarics, the stronger it gets as well. But uh, now that we have this, we basically just go over to our mob farm, start killing mobs, and as we kill them, uh, these gems should actually fill up. And I've actually keep them on my bar. We can see that a lot later. But we need to get one of these with, uh, I think it was 350 in it, to be able to do the craft we need to do. But anyway, it'll kind of take a little bit of time here. But you can see the bar is going up, and uh, as it kind of fills up, and uh, we get more and more will, we can go ahead and turn these into higher level gems. I don't know how much these ones hold. Might be only like 64 in the first year. Might as well go ahead and uh, see if we can actually enchant this too. Oh, we actually got sharpness 4. That's awesome. What do we get here? Sharpness 4, looting 3, and I'm breaking. I'll actually make that even quicker. So that's amazing. <laughs> Glad I decided to do that real quick. Because uh, that's going to save a little extra time there. Just to be able to kill the mobs a little quicker, right? But uh, we are almost done either way. Here we go. Fly over to our altar. We're just like Superman, man. I need to move that to a different spot, though. It's a little too close either way. But yeah, we just need to fill up the second gem here. And want it to, once it's done, which I think it is right there, we go ahead and uh, get to our second level one. So to get to the second level one, I think it was this, this, this. I need to go to uh, Tartaric for a second because I think there's something else in there. Tartaric and the second level one. What, what can these ones hold? I'm not even sure. It doesn't even tell you, does it? So we do that, 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 and that. Oh, that was the wrong recipe. That must be the third tier. Look at this. It's this stuff here. Yep. Then we take that, pop that in there with this. So it would be that there. And then we need a tartaric. Oh, you don't need tartaric. That's why you don't need one anymore. You used to need a separate one to be able to do that. 
And then I get to go ahead and do this one as well. That's good. I don't know why I set this up for three recipes, but either way, it doesn't matter too much. There you go. These both have a little bit of will in them, but I need to go ahead and fill up these ones, then get them up one more tier, then we should be good to go. There you go. I think I have just about everything we need here. You got anything interesting? You do not, so you do not get to live. Who am I kidding? You wouldn't have lived either way, but... What I did meet some of the imbued slates. These are the third tier ones, so I did that. I need them as well for the uh, common Tartaric, so I went ahead and did them as well. So I already went ahead and crafted them up. These have 1,024 will in each, so we should be pretty much good to go. So what we need now is to go ahead and grab ourselves a alchemical reaction chamber. Go ahead and do that. Craft ourselves the alchemical. Go ahead and pop that right there. Then what we need to get here, I think it's called a reverter. This thing right here, right? Sanguine Reverter. And this takes a slate iron to get in that stuff. I think I have everything on me, right? Let's actually pop you out. Go ahead and put you in there. And then I need the slate as well, right? And what else do we need in here? Probably a Tartar. There you go. <laughs> That's fantastic. And with that, uh, we should be good to go, actually, to actually get up to the uh, Tier 4 altar, right? So we go ahead and put that in there. Then I think we just put that in there. It just does the thing. So that'll go across. I think we get the weak blood crystals, right? It looks like we get two per, so... I think we need eight to be able to uh, craft up everything we did here. Well, it looks like it's a little random. You don't actually get the kind of set amount there. Do I have no uh, watch on me? Go ahead and grab you. Let me just go ahead and speed this up real quick. Oh, that? Okay, I, I thought it was derpy guy at first. <laughs> and not working, but it is working. So let's go ahead and do that. Just made the bar do weird things. Oh, I thought this was the recipe here. Oh, no, it's with uh, cobblestone or something, right? Go ahead and grab cobble. Try that. And with this stuff. No, it's not. Let's go to the weak bloods. Because it has to be a actual form of stone. So that'll be what we did there. And with that, we can actually get this up to the next tier, right? So I'll go ahead and probably do this by myself in a second. But you need to go to the altars again. Go to the blood altar. Go ahead and hunt down the tier 4 one. This one right here. Make sure we have visualize on. And see if we can actually right click the correct block. Right there. And then we just need to take this down another level. So let me go ahead and uh, get this built out here. For the runes, I'm just going to use what I have. Like, we don't have, like, a lot of good runes right now. I actually need to go ahead and craft someone, uh, some different ones. But I could put some speeds in. I could put in a few more sacrifice. But outside of that, I would have to use things like uh, these here. Like, displacement make the, makes it, if you're piping the blood, it moves faster. And, yeah, nothing else. This one won't do anything for me right now. But I may use some just to fill up the altar. So I got the altar up to tier 4. But I'm curious. Could we actually repair this by having this in our inventory? We can too. We can just repair this thing. This thing only usually has uh, 32 uses, which is, uh, you know, kind of crappy, but we could just repair this with our repair talisman, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, it seems like we repair everything. We're repairing our ashes and everything, so everything with this mod looks repairable with that. I did notice I needed uh, two more, I guess one more, of these uh, weak, uh, what is it here? The weak uh, blood shards to actually make our next orb, so I must as well go ahead and uh, get that done as well. So let's go ahead and pop that off. We've got a bunch of junky runes right now, but uh, we'll deal with that pretty soon. I need to go ahead and uh, get us blood really quick, though. I think we need, like, 50,000 for this one or something. Oh, my goodness. Why is that going so fast? Oh, we might need... Uh, I might not be able to keep up with this one. <laughs> this isn't even sped up, and look how fast it drains. So the ones that take more LP drain LP faster. Basically how that works there. But it looks like we're actually able to keep up, oddly enough. And there you go. We can actually go ahead and uh, get our better orb. And how much LP do we have in the network? I don't know how much this one holds, but it's way more. I think the last one was 250,000, and I'm guessing this one holds a lot more. I did, don't know what the actual number is. Probably says in the book, but I'm not going to look it up right now. But we have the better orb now, and with that, we'll be able to actually go ahead and uh, make better runes, I think, as well. So if we go to the runes here, I think there's better ones we could make, right? So we go to speed rune. I uh, have the upgraded ones, I guess. What do you need here? I oh, need the tier 5 slates, though, for that. Now, I guess we only need, yeah, we need tier 5, so we can't actually do that. So, we can't do those ones. I don't know if we can do any of the upgraded ones. I should do some of these, though. The runes capacity. These ones right here make it so the tank is bigger. So, when I have to do those big LP crafts, there'll just be a whole big tank there. Because right now, we're on the base level tier 1 tank. It can only hold, I think, 10,000 LP. So, it's why I've had to do all the spamming. I've only been able to get away with this because we're able to do all the acceleration, right? But, going forward, I'm probably going to want that. The other runes I probably want is probably just more uh, the actual uh, sacrifice ones because they're going to be the ones that actually make it when we set up the ritual. Um, we could just uh, get more and more LP as well. So that'll be probably a thing. Probably end up needing displacement runes too now that I think of it, but we'll kind of have to figure out the optimal setup. Just looking at uh, what we can actually get to now. Looks like we can't actually get to anything. We actually need tier 5. 
they changed the way you do tier 5 nests now too. So there's actually a dimension just for the tier 5 as well. So I'm not in a big hurry for that. Next thing I want to do is uh, get that ritual going. So the next ritual we need to get going, I think we need another diviner. Which divider do we need? I think it's uh, this one here, the Dusk. So this one here, you need Demonic Slates. So that is the tier 4 slate. So you need to take Imbued. And then you need to go ahead and make these Inscription Tool Dusk. Those ones look pretty easy, actually. That's just blocks of coal. So this one's getting long, so I'm going to go ahead and actually end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. See you guys in the next video. Later.